In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the area of odd shapes that we don't have a formula for. If we don't have a formula for a shape, what we must do is slice it up into pieces that we can find the area for. We'll find that shapes that are attached to each other are giving us extra area and must be added together. And while shapes that are cut out that we don't have anymore, we must subtract. Let's take a look at a very unique shape that we're going to find the area of. This shape is quite unique, but what we can do is slice it up. You might notice that the top of the shape is a triangle. We also might notice that the right side of our shape is half of a circle, leaving the remaining part of the shape to be a rectangle. Let's see if we can find the area of these three shapes that are attached together, so we can add them together to get the total area. First, let's look at the triangle on top. Formula for a triangle, we know is 1 half times the base times the height. The base going from one end to the other, you'll notice is the same as the base from one end to the other at the bottom. The base is 9 inches. The height is this part here. We're told that it's 6 inches from the bottom of the shape to the top, and also that it's 4 inches from the bottom to the start of the triangle. So we want the height of just the triangle. 6 is the whole thing, 4 is the bottom. 6 minus 4, there's 2 inches left for height of that triangle. So let's plug this into our formula. 1 half times the base, which we said was 9 inches, same as the base of the entire thing, times the height, which we found to be 2 inches, 6 minus 4. Multiplying, a half times 9 is 4.5 inches, times the 2 inches. Finishing multiplying, we get 9 square inches in the triangle. Next, let's find the area of the rectangle. The rectangle, we know, is base times height, or length times width, I think is what we said. Same idea. The length, we see, is clearly given to us as 9, and the width, we see, is clearly given to us as 4. So we'll replace the length with 9 inches, and the width with 4 inches. Simple multiplication, 9 times 4 is 36 square inches in area in the rectangle. The only thing left to find is this half circle on the end. Half circle. Normally, to find the area of a circle, we use the formula pi times the radius squared, but since we only want half the circle, what we're going to do is divide that answer by 2, giving us half the circle. We still need to know the radius of the circle. We might notice that we do know the entire length from one side of the other to the circle is 4 inches. And so the radius, half of 4 inches, is going to be 2 inches. Plugging this in, pi is 3.14, the radius is 2 inches over 2, square the 2 inches. Order of operations says to do the exponent first, 2 squared is 4 square inches over 2. We'll do 3.14 times 4, we get 12.56 square inches over 2. We divide by 2 to get the half circle at 6.28 square inches. To find the total area, we'll add these together. 9 plus 36 plus 6.28 is 51.28 square inches. In part 2, we'll look at another example.